According to author Lanny Ream, Ellensburg Blues are found in the Tinoe Basalt as seam agate and cavity fillings. The basalt stretches from Clay Ellum Lake to Yellow Hill, northwest to Red Top, and then across US 97 to First Creek and Green Canyon. You can tell the difference between the basalts in this area because Columbia River basalt is dark gray to black and rarely contains agates. The Tinoe basalt is redder and in places it's shot full of air holes called vesicles. The holes sometimes filled with quartz material and when the basalt eroded the harder agates ended up in the soil. So the most common way to find the agates is to search the alluvium of the Ellensburg formation. To reach Red Top take US 97 to the little cafe at Mineral Resort. Just north of Mineral, go west on Blue Creek Road and follow the signs to the Red Top Lookout parking area, a little more than seven miles. To reach the Rock and Tomahawk Ranch, take I-90 to just west of Ellensburg and get off at exit 106. The ranch address is 2590 Upper Green Canyon Road. We planned our trip around the homecoming for specialist Jake Riley, who is serving in Iraq with the Oregon National Guard. Jake got three weeks of leave and he was ready for a camping trip into any area that wasn't hot and sandy. He's been a huge help on dozens of rock counting trips throughout the Northwest, so we were glad to do all the planning, buy all the supplies, and maybe even let him get the best agate. Greetings and welcome to the fourth episode of Garrett's World Geology. Today we're going to Red Top Mountain. We're looking for Ellensburg Blue Agates, world famous. They are in the Tinaway Basalt, they're in little amygdules, little spherical, sometimes marbles. There's also some seam agate up here. So we've got to go up to the lookout and hike in. We are just off of US 97 from Mineral Resort, just about a half mile past there, and then on Blue, Road, Blue Creek Road, Forest Road 9738. So let's go do some screening. I do not recommend driving up to Red Top in a minivan or sedan. There are some treacherous spots along the way and you could easily end up with a bad rim, a flat tire, or a broken strut. The road is steep in places and can test your brakes on the way back down. Where are we going, Garrett? <laughs> that away. Right. Bye, Mom. The hike into the digging area isn't too bad. I've seen kids and families make it. There are two issues. One, you're up above 5,000 feet, and two, you have to hike in food, water, heavy hammers, shovels, and screens. Just got to get a hole going. Be careful of overhangs. A lot of pits up here. When you come out here in August, sometimes it's a little more comfortable to work in the shade over here on the tree side. One of the problems with doing this in October, it's frosty up on top. All right, we're in the uh, the rock counting area. You can see from all the pits and all the diggings. Now it's just a matter of digging and screening, digging and screening. It's kind of muddy and so it's not as easy to see. You almost have to go by form and look for little round blebs and little ball bearings, peas. If you're lucky, a grape or an egg. Use a sturdy screen that's at least a quarter inch in mesh. The work goes faster if you have two people because you can switch off between shoveling and screening. You'll find that your eye is attracted to the smaller material at first because nobody wants to go home skunked. But keep an eye on that big stuff. You don't want to toss aside something that's round and heavy without checking it first. It's hollow. It's hollow. Let's smash it open and see what we got. Our plan worked out pretty well because Jake ended up finding a big round agate on the hike out. It may not look like much in the daylight with its rusty red husk, but at night, if you shine a flashlight through it, Jake's orb looks like a glowing orange fireball. We're all wondering if it's blue inside. We had called ahead and talked with the folks at the Rock and Tomahawk Ranch, so they knew we were coming. The ranch charges $5 a day to roam around their 160 acres, and they like to meet you the first time you visit to run through all the rules. Wow, look at this material. It's just incredible. Now, everything but these two pieces have been found out here. Really? It's just a wide variety of rocks. So I, I always like to tell people, you know, don't just limit yourself to blue. There's such a variety of stuff out here. It's, it's, just, it's just amazing that what this, this area produces. Now I was going to tell you about this one. This, you want? This, is, this is my husband's piece that uh, 
he found, and I have no idea where he found it, or when he found it for sure, or why he even picked it up, because this stuff did not show. This may be a little corner or something. He was suspicious, but not suspicious enough to pick it. For a year it rolled around on four beds and four boards of this truck. You know, but I said, you know, I'm sure getting tired of stepping in in the truck, stepping on this rock and flapping down on the seat. You know, you need to do something with it. <laughs> do you have a wife that's saying, I'm getting tired of stepping yes, on I these? Do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. So he had... After you've been there once, you can drive on up, deposit your $5 in their special container, and then roam around on your own. The setup is pretty simple. You don't want to mess with the livestock, and you should get their map so you know which areas they control. That way you won't venture into anyone's pasture by mistake. One thing we noticed right off is that Bernice is a great rock hound, and she has a lot of stories to tell. She was really patient about getting out her complete collection of material taken from the ranch, which includes not only white and blue agate, but also petrified wood and jasper. The wind was whipping something fierce when we visited in October, and the field microphone had a hard time keeping up. Bernice told us all about the history of the ranch and how some of the cornflower blue agate came to be found, dating way back to the early 1900s. At one time, Tiffany's of New York even sold Ellensburg blue jewelry. Dad, this, this guy here was found out here over 30 years ago, and when we named the ranch the Rock and Tomahawk, well, he put this together for me for Christmas. Nice. He said he had it laying on his windowsill. He knew there was a place for it, but he didn't know where it was at. And when we named the ranch, well, this was my Christmas present. You know, it, it's... Everybody, they'll ask me, well, where's the best place to look? Under your feet, underground. Wherever. <laughs> you're right about that, under your feet. This Nobody's ever found a mother load of the blue agate, such as a seam on a ledge or a spot where you can quarry material from the basalt. So you're left with walking along the sagebrush and the dried grass, head down, looking for any telltale flash of white or blue. Sometimes you can't even tell what you have until you slice it with a saw. I've heard more than one experienced rock hound tell me that the best hunting for the blue agates is in the springtime after a winter of frost heaves and melting snow has shifted around the top layer of Ellensburg Formation Alluvium. We give them orientation, we show them the map, uh, where our property lies and where's, you know, where they can park. Uh, a lot of people are just into walking and they'll walk the whole thing from here. My suggestion is, is you always park up up on the top a little bit so you kind of split it. Oh, right. Um, you're not walking to the far end, which is way up there where those three trees are at. Uh, there's like 35 acres in this piece here, and then as you turn the road up there, go up that way, is another 127 acres. To reach the Rock and Tomahawk Ranch, take I-90 to just west of Ellensburg and get off at exit 106 for US-97. You can't just show up unannounced, but here's the rest of the information. The ranch address is 2590 Upper Green Canyon Road. Be sure to call ahead at 509-962-2403. It's $5 a day for each person to search the ranch and only on Saturdays and Sundays. Okay, that's a wrap for 2009. Thanks for watching and thanks to my great crew. You're on, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's...